lazy brat. How dare you go out and leave my daughter to clean the house? Do you have the audacity to go out without my permission? I went to the supermarket to buy some food for tomorrow's party as instructed by you, Leela. When I went out, you weren't at home, right? I told Joy before leaving. Besides, if she disagrees, am I not allowed to go out? How dare you argue with me, you naughty moron. Do you know I am your mother-in-law? You are truly uneducated. Oh, I guess your parents are also uneducated. So they couldn't teach you anything, right? You have no right to insult my family. Don't use the title of mother-in-law to force me to obey anything you say. Are you implying that I'm a wicked mother-in-law? Oh my God, you wretched daughter-in-law. I agreed to let you step into my house and that was lucky for you. You're an uneducated fool. I haven't done anything to you, but you just keep prying and finding reasons to blame me. Don't you see how narrow-minded you are? You wretch, how dare you speak like that, huh? You dare to say I'm narrow-minded? I haven't even asked you about breaking the expensive plate I bought while you were washing the dishes. Useless person. You can't even handle simple tasks. I didn't break it. It was Joy, your adopted daughter, that broke it. You always think I'm responsible for every bad thing. Now just go ask your beloved daughter. Are you making my daughter do the maid's work? That is your responsibility. <laughs> so you mean I'm the maid in this house? You should remember that I am your son's wife, the daughter-in-law of this family. I accepted you just to have a maid in the house. Don't delude yourself into thinking you're the lady of this house. You and the serpents are no different. Ugh, you're going too far, Layla. If you dare say these things in front of my husband, he'll be ashamed to have a mother like you. You truly don't deserve to be his mother. Shut up! You don't have the right to judge me. I am the owner of this house, so everything I say is right. An inferior daughter-in-law like you should just keep quiet and follow along. Don't forget the slaps I gave you last time. No, you're the one daydreaming. This house was bought by my husband's hard work for the both of us. I haven't forgotten what happened last time. I let my husband know how you try to manipulate and oppress me. You're not allowed to bother my son. He has been working hard on a business trip far away. My son's house is also mine. You have no place here, so stop pretending. You're nothing but rubbish in this house. You're really ridiculous, you know that? Your son has started a family and his own house has nothing to do with you. Suddenly you bring along this adopted daughter out of nowhere and drop her into our home and you think you know better? You pretended to be sick just to convince my husband to let you stay temporarily, didn't you? You're such a mess. Are you trying to kick me out of the house, huh? Oh my goodness. You want this old lady to have nowhere to stay, do you? Because I can't help you since I'm weak. You see me as a burden, huh? How malicious are you? Stop making baseless assumptions. It's clear that you still have the house left by your father-in-law. Why don't you bring Joy back there? This is our own house. Bringing a stranger like this has caused a lot of inconvenience for us. Joy is my adopted daughter. Of course she has to stay with me. She's a kind and well-behaved child. I've already considered Joy as my own flesh and blood. Not only do you not respect her, you also criticize her as if she's a parasite to you. Just see how selfish you are. Now, <laughs> who's the selfish one, you or me? I still can't understand why Joy, who has her own family, followed you to this house. And on top of that, you don't let her do anything. The things you do will make her think she's the owner here. You're not allowed to say bad things about my daughter. She's well-behaved and kind-hearted. If my son had married a wife like her, maybe I wouldn't be in such misery right now. I'll show you who's the owner of this house. I'm sure you've been bullying my son. It's up to you to think that way. But let me tell you, your beloved daughter is not as virtuous as you think. I've caught her laughing and joking around with some strange guys more than once. Then you'll see your dreams shattered. 
What do you know about that girl to say such things? She comes from a prestigious family and studied abroad, not like some countryside people like you. She's here to be friends with me, not because she's a homeless person. How could you be that ignorant? Who knows? Maybe she's just pretending to be someone she's not. Don't let yourself be deceived by a stranger. And then you'll blame yourself for being so gullible. You're being ridiculous, Taylor. I also want to ask about the man sitting at the end of the street cafe with you. I saw with my own eyes how affectionate you were and even holding hands. Are you spying on me, Layla? He's just an old colleague of mine. I went to the cafe to meet a close friend and coincidentally ran into him. Between us, it's just an acquaintance. Don't need to pretend. He seems very polite. Looks like he's well off. He even speaks and laughs with you as if you're a couple. Tell me, what's your relationship with him? My son has been on a business trip for two months and you're in such a hurry? Oh, what's wrong with you, Layla? You're making a big deal out of nothing and blaming me. You're really delusional. Enough. I've noticed your recent behavior. You frequently avoid doing housework and stay out late for dinner. Don't deny it anymore. You and that man had a relationship beyond just colleagues, didn't you? Are you secretly coming back with him behind my son's back? Oh my God, you're such a shameless woman. Oh, you're going crazy, Layla. I can't understand you. I'll let my husband know about this so he can talk to you. Stop making up stories to pressure me. I just gave birth to a baby. Are you trying to kill me? Oh, are you scared now? So you're using the baby as a threat against me? Who knows if that baby is even my grandson? You've cheated, haven't you? You're being too much, Layla. I can accept that you hate me and insult me, but you have no right to doubt my child. Who knows? Maybe my son was fooled by you because he was blinded in front of your trick? You have to come with me for a DNA test on this baby. I won't let my son be such a fool all his life. You're crazy. Why should I do that when I'm completely innocent? I won't go with you. You're just trying to create trouble for me. Are you afraid of being exposed? If you want to prove that you're not a thief, then why don't you dare to go? You're worried about being caught, aren't you? Don't provoke me, Layla. I'm not wrong. I won't go anywhere. You won't be able to force me. Then I'll let my son know everything, so he can come back immediately. Do you want your husband to be even busier and more worried? Stop it, Layla. My husband isn't at home, so why are you trying to pressure me? When he comes back, I'll make sure he knows how cruel you are. How dare you threaten me? My son will believe me. I'm his mother after all. Mark my words. You'll regret not listening to me. I haven't done anything wrong, so I'm not afraid. I believe my husband isn't a fool, so he'll never listen to your baseless accusations. Fine. Let's see who will be the ultimate winner, you or me. I already know all about the conflicts between you and mom. It's because I'm so useless that I couldn't even finish washing the dishes, which made mom scold you. It's all my fault, Taylor. You don't have to pretend to be weak like that. I've known your true face for a long time. It's just that my mother-in-law believes in you too much, you crooked hypocrite. Oh, please don't speak so harshly to me, sis. I'm not being deceitful. I'm always sincere with my family. Cut it out. You know my mother-in-law has a fondness for collecting porcelain, so you deliberately broke that plate and made her scold me. You came to our house, though you didn't even lift a finger to help with anything. I didn't intentionally break the plate. Don't accuse me falsely, sis. I came to this house because mom desperately wanted me to be by her side and confide in her. I'm not so miserable that I have to rely on you for shelter. You should also know that I've known mom and your husband for a long time, even before you married him. So I'm not an outsider. You're disgusting, you know that? So what if you knew them before? Are you legally adopted? You're just a girl who suddenly became my mother-in-law's adopted child. 
I don't even know what your intentions are for getting close to my family like this. No, oh, don't think badly of me like that, sis. I'm not lacking anything that would make me have ulterior motives towards your family. My parents are also close with your mother-in-law. They agreed to let me stay here to comfort her after my father-in-law left home for another woman. You should actually care more about her. What do you know about my family matters to speak like that? Who told you that my father-in-law is having an affair? You're so vulgar! It was your mother-in-law who told me that. Don't judge me before you've heard the whole story. Not every bad thing is my fault. You have too much animosity towards me. I have animosity towards you? Do you think you're worthy enough for me to care about or what? If you hadn't followed Layla to my house, would I have noticed you? You're not the center of the universe. Don't flatter yourself, Joy. <laughs> you're jealous because my mother-in-law loves me, aren't you? Maybe it's because of your cruel and unpleasant personality that she doesn't like you. You're dreaming, aren't you? I don't have spare time to be jealous of you. This is my house, and I have the right to kick you out of here. You're lying. This is my mother and adopted brother's house. I know very well that your family's poor. Where did you get the money to buy this house? You speak as if you know me so well. You're just listening to the kind words of my generous mother-in-law talking badly about me. This house belongs to my husband, and even if it wasn't, a stranger like you has no right to speak up. I will kick you out of here if you try to interfere in my family matters. <laughs> You're not threatening me, sis. I'm not afraid of you. I'll soon let my adopted brother know how you've been causing trouble with mom, so he'll change the way he thinks about his wife. Do you dare? Let's see if my husband believes me or believes you, huh? Don't be too confident. Are you sure, sis? Remember that I've known your husband for a long time. We're close like family even when we were still in school. Be careful, sis. Fine. Just stay there and be pleased with yourself. You'll soon open your eyes wide. Indeed. You're truly a wicked woman, Taylor. You're so cruel to my innocent son. What are you up to now? I'm exhausted from being tormented by you every day. Don't try to blame me. You're the most malicious person in this house. How dare you deceive my entire family? What are you talking about? Don't beat around the bush like that. What are you trying to imply here? Really? Have you just startled? I know that your child is not my biological grandson, so he's not my son's child. You crooked girl. Are you crazy? Why are you making up such outrageous things? The child is your biological grandchild. How dare you come to such unfounded conclusions? You don't believe me? Joy and I had our DNA tested, and the results clearly showed that we don't share any blood relation. I still have the test results. It turns out that I wasn't mistaken about your true character. What did you do to manipulate my son into accepting another person's child? Ugh, you're such a scheming woman. Now who gave you permission to take my son's hair for testing? You're so cruel. The child looks exactly like my husband, and you dare to take it upon yourself to get a DNA test? And the results don't match? That's ridiculous. I have the right to seek justice for my son. Do you think I'm just as cunning as you? I regret ever allowing you to set foot in this house. No, I'm sure you and Joy have schemed something here. There's no way the results can be like that. Joy only helped you create this false drama against me, didn't she? Don't involve Joy. She's a kind-hearted girl. She introduced me to a reputable testing center. She was really shocked by your guilt as well. Don't try to make excuses. It's no use. The results are in. I will let my son know everything. Finally, I have exposed your true face. <laughs> you coward dog. There must be something hidden in this matter. If you want to talk to my husband, go ahead. I'm not afraid. Soon, you'll be terrified. Prepare your belongings and get out of my son's house right now. This house doesn't welcome such a despicable and immoral woman like you. No, you have no right to kick me out. This is my husband and I's home. You and Joy are the ones who should leave. How dare you? 
a deceitful and unethical person. Say that? You dare to cheat on your husband while he's away? And even have a child with another man? You truly are a venomous snake. My family has been cursed all this time for harboring a low-class person like you. It's impossible. This can't be happening. You and Joey are conspiring to drive me out, aren't you? No wonder my father-in-law left because of your wickedness. Shut up! Who gave you the right to mention that old, worthless man? You're just like him, betraying our family. That's why you defend him, isn't it? You just don't know how to behave. You will regret what you've done to me and my son. I hope you'll soon realize the truth about Joy's character. Then you'll have to suffer. Ah, oh, like I care. You will soon be humiliated. Stop pretending to be innocent. Just let this play end. All I know is that I can finally win over a crooked rat like you. You're such a despicable person, Taylor. It was all in vain for my mother to raise you and let you step into this house to become his wife. You cunning little brat. You and your mother conspired together to stage this play, didn't you? I was right about seeing through your deceitful face. If I'm deceitful, you're also a wicked type. You shamelessly had an affair with your coworker and even had a child with him. Yet, you still made your husband accept that child. You truly lack morals. Oh, I almost forgot. You come from a poor and inferior background, so you didn't have much education like me. It's only fitting that you're lowly like that. Oh, really? Well, I'm not as lowly as you. I figured it out now. You secretly loved my husband, which is why you deliberately approached my family and found a way to drive me away, right? <sighs> Since you already know, then I don't need to pretend to be your little sister anymore. That's right. I've loved him for a long time. I still can't understand why he chose you instead of me. What do you have that I don't? Did you use your tricks to enchant him? You're so foolish, Joy. My husband always saw you as his little sister. He kept his distance from you. It's only you who delusionally wanted to replace me. It's because of you that I lost the person I loved. Because of you I've suffered all this time. Now it's time for me to reclaim everything that belongs to me. Reclaim everything that belongs to you? <laughs> Stop daydreaming. You're not capable of doing that. Are you sure? <laughs> You're about to be kicked out of this house for your thieving crimes, you foolish moron. Thieving? What are you trying to add now? I won't leave it out like that. I will make you crawl to beg me for everything. Don't pretend, okay? Your mother-in-law lost her expensive necklace. She searched the entire house and found it in your wardrobe. You hid it so well that she had to search all day to find it. Is this all part of the drama you're creating? I have no reason to steal from her. She's foolish to blindly trust you. What did you do to make her suspect me? I didn't do anything. Don't blame me for it. Considering your poor background, it's obvious you'll always be greedy for material possessions. It's not surprising that you'd steal. Do you think you have the right to criticize someone like me? You don't have the right to do that. <laughs> Just wait, Joy. I will clear this up. Keep trying to argue, Taylor. Soon, your husband will belong to me, including that whole house. Remember, I have the support of your mother-in-law. I'm the one worthy of being his wife. You're a lowly, despicable person. Keep being self-assured, Joy. You will lose everything because of the sins you've committed. You're really foolish, Layla. I can't believe you trusted that Joy so blindly that you kicked out your own flesh and blood. After everything you've done to my family, how dare you show your face to me? You despicable, lowly creature. You truly have no vision, Layla. Do you even realize that Joy has been manipulating you this entire time? She's using you to replace me as your son's wife. Don't falsely accuse Joy. She's a good person, not a greedy and wicked person like you. Perhaps you don't know that I chose Joy as my daughter-in-law from the beginning, right? It's only because of my foolish son's inability to choose a wife. Finally, you're admitting it, huh? What do you really know? You're being given a painful gift by your dream daughter-in-law. You blinded yourself with her sweet words and kicked out your own flesh and blood. 
You truly are despicable. Stop trying to salvage the situation. When my son comes back, I will openly welcome Joy into this house. He's busy right now, so I haven't told him yet to let him focus on his work. Don't pretend like you care so much about your son. He already knows everything. I've told him about all your actions. He's very angry. This weekend, my husband will come back and make things clear. How dare you bother my son? You despicable, wretched woman. I kicked you and your illegitimate child out onto the street, and it serves you right. Do you know what? My husband personally sent his hair sample for me to have it tested. The result is that the child is indeed his biological son. Don't make up stories. I've already done the test. You don't need to try to drag it out any longer. If you don't believe me, go ahead and ask my husband. He's waiting for your call to explain everything. If you still don't believe it, wait until he comes back and it will become clear. It's impossible. I've already had the test done at the most reputable place. There's no way it could be a mistake. Are you sure Joy isn't scheming behind your back? She's the one who collected the test results instead of you. No, Joy is the daughter I trust. She would never do anything malicious to harm me. And let's not forget about your thieving actions. You're the only one who steals and causes a scene. If you don't believe me, go ahead and interrogate her. And as for your necklace, I've already found the answer. Once again, it's your beloved Joy. You're accusing Joy, aren't you? Joy is not a greedy and disgusting person like you. You're a wretched dog. <laughs> if you don't believe me, that's fine. But you'll have to believe the camera. Since the day you and Joy moved in, I had someone install a camera in my room. I caught her stealing your necklace and carefully packaging it back up. Then, while I was away, she hid the necklace in my drawer. If you want, you can check the footage. I still have it. No, I'll never believe a word you say. You're trying to drive a wedge between my relationship with Joy. Are you afraid that I'll marry Joy to my son? Why don't you wake up, Layla? She schemed and manipulated you into kicking out your own flesh and blood. She even stole your belongings to frame me. She's hiding a dirty past, yet you're still infatuated with her? What do you mean by that? Don't try to stir up my past. That despicable man is not worthy. Just stop it. Your husband didn't betray you. You're so foolish to believe the words of your so-called good sisters and doubt and torment him until he can't take it anymore and leaves. Do you know that the very woman who claims to be your good sister is actually Joy's biological aunt? You're being turned into a clown by both of them. What? That can't be true. Why would that happen? No, I need to clarify this. I'm not someone's joke. You should reflect on everything yourself, Layla. You're the one who's destroyed your own happiness. And you're enabling Joy to ruin your son's life as well. You're the worst person in this situation. No, I'm not wrong. I will make you pay for orchestrating this drama. <sighs> That's enough. You're truly pathetic, Layla. Your wicked deeds have come to an end, Joy. Oh, what are you saying, loser? I've already picked out my wedding dress to replace you as the owner of this house. Mom told me the sooner we have the wedding, the better to avoid your interference. Wedding dress? Wedding? <laughs> are you dreaming? You're truly delusional. Don't underestimate me. Your husband will soon accept me. Since he was young, he's always listened to his mother. He's a good son, so he won't make his mother sad. I understand him very well. Get ready to attend our wedding. No, oh, you are seriously out of your mind, Joy. Who told you that my husband listens to his mother so much? He only goes along with her because she pretends to be sick. Moreover, you're overly idealizing my husband. He's not the type of man who clings to his mother's apron strings. My husband knows everything. You're lying. Mom told me to rest assured because she's always on my side. I'm not afraid. Stop being crazy, Joy. I've exposed the whole truth about you to Layla. 
The fact that you pretended to study abroad and secretly gave birth to a child overseas and then abandoned the child in the countryside without taking responsibility, and the fact that you manipulated the paternity test results and the necklace theft, he's shocked by it all. You're just deceiving. You have no evidence to accuse me. Of course I do. I've investigated all the wicked things you've done to ruin the happiness of my marriage. Now I've made multiple copies of all the evidence and handed them to Layla. She's trying to accept the truth. You damn bastard! Why do you keep trying to ruin my life? If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be in such a miserable state. I didn't even need to try so hard to win over Layla. You're so wicked. You approached her just to divide me and my husband. Moreover, you let your biological aunt get close to Layla so that she could scheme to take my husband away. Both you and your aunt are cruel, completely unethical. It can't be true. How do you know about that? I've made sure not to meet my biological aunt directly for years. Don't underestimate private investigators. I went to the trouble of hiring a skilled person to uncover the truth of it all. No, I can't let everything I've worked so hard to build crumble. This isn't the truth. You're just trying to make me doubt everything. You won't trap me. Aren't you tired of denying your wrongdoing? Stop trying to claim something that doesn't belong to you, Joy. Instead of continuing to commit crimes, take responsibility for the child you brought into this world, you selfish person! It's not your place to lecture me about life. That child is the one who destroyed my future. What do you know to judge me like this? I hope you soon realize your mistakes. Prepare yourself to face Layla and my husband. You've lost Joy. You damn stomper! I won't let you rest. I will seek revenge. I curse you for the rest of your life. After I exposed everything, Layla, my mother-in-law, was extremely shocked and fell ill. Under my and my husband's care, she quickly recovered and admitted her mistakes. She deeply regretted believing Joy's words and causing me and my son to suffer during this time. She constantly begged for my forgiveness, but I haven't been able to fully accept it yet. She moved out of my house and returned to live alone in her old home. As for Joy, she begged Layla and my husband to forgive her and trust her, but they turned their backs on her. She kept trying to sabotage my home and ended up being arrested by the police. After all the turmoil, my husband and I seem to understand and love each other more. We spend more time with our son and watch him grow up in boundless happiness. I'm planning to start working again and embark on a journey of personal development to build this little family with my husband.